Hey everyone, it's Paragon23, and today I'll be showing y'all how to make this helmet. I know in our last video, I showed you how to make the uh, Ohio State helmet with the uh, the cool looking texture. Uh, that showed you more of the basics and what to color and where to color it. And I've had a lot of people ask me more about the actual logos that you'll see on a lot more helmets. And so that's what we'll focus on today, as well as putting the actual texture on a helmet. Uh, since people don't know how to do that either. So, today I'll be making a Clemson helmet, and I'm making it for the OCFA. So, uh, pictured here is what we're going to make. So, here's the template. Now, I have a few pictures open. Uh, here's one that shows the back. You need a picture of the back. Uh, here's one for the color. I copied the color already using the uh, color picker tool. And first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and color the background the shell just the shell right now so I know uh, the location of like you know uh, just the general area so first thing I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna color the stripe white stripe invert color and I'm gonna get that purple that's on the helmet I'll get that from right here and it looks pretty thick so we'll make the stripe pretty thick This is just the outline plug-in. Okay, I'm gonna make it look nice and smooth. And cut off a little bit of extra. I don't like that being there. This is not necessary at all because uh, the parts I'm cutting off won't show on the outside of the helmet. Okay, so I got the uh, parts I want cut off, cut off. Now we're gonna do the logo, the main logo. So I have that pulled up here. You can find this just by looking up Clemson logo or the team name logo, find the closest one. So it's already white. And a general rule of thumb is if you have a logo about this size, I'd go with resizing it to 90 and then moving around that. And this logo is pretty much square, so you don't have to worry about uh, the side right now. And rotate it that way. Rotate it counterclockwise, because the template is rotated that way. Copy it. Make a new layer on top of background. And move it around. Uh, see where you like it. According to this, it's perfectly straight, so it needs to be tilted back a little bit. Which it looks like it is already, yeah. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. So instead of 90, maybe 105. And then rotate it. Yep, I feel like that's better. And so things you need to keep in mind. One, there's a shading here. And here. As well as back here. And that kind of tells you the where the center of the helmet is. And on most speed flex helmets, the logo is near the top or in the middle here. It's never going to be down here or in the back. So I think right here is pretty much the prime spot. So I'm going to put it right there. Good distance from the stripe. And I think that's pretty much set as is. There's not anything else you need to do for the main logo. Now I'm going to focus on the back. So I have this ready right here. I'm going to go ahead and color all of the uh, letters purple. So I already have that purple ready and just use the bucket tool. All of them except for the, the uh, paw. I'm going to delete these R logos also. And just copy what I need. So just this. Make a new picture. Delete the old picture. And now we need to resize this for the back of the helmet, which is right here. So I have the back of helmet decals. I'm going to make a new layer. And we'll start out with a height of 14. See how wide that is. And I think that looks pretty good. I'll make it 15 height just to see. Yeah, I like 15 height better. 
and try to center as much as possible. It's pretty good right there. Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and color the background completely orange because at this point there's no uh, reason to keep it uncolored. So based on the back of this, there's an American flag on the right side, which is going to be right there. And then there's these uh, stickers, which I'm not going to put at the bottom. I'm going to put closer to the top, like in this area, in this area. And I'm going to put an OCFA logo down here since I'm making it for them. So I'm going to go ahead and make this logo, which I found online. I just control R. I made it 40 in size, so it's noticeable. Make a new layer. OCFA. And the American flag, which I showed you in another video, you can just resize one you uh, find online, but I'm going to go ahead and copy this one I already have. And according to this, there's a white outline. You can barely see it, but uh, there is one. So I'm going to put it right, right there. I need to move this OCFA logo down. Whoops. Yeah. Okay. And the American flag, go down. Okay, make a white outline. Okay, that was pretty simple. That's all you needed to, need to do there. Next, we're going to do the stickers on the back of the helmet. So we can use the same logo. And it looks like they're stickers. Like it's literally just a paw. No circle around it or anything so I think a good sticker size is around 25 width we'll try it and see out how, how it looks go ahead and merge these uh, decals on the back make a new layer and yeah that looks pretty good so I know I already colored it in uh, the outside of the shell but where you should start with stickers since we're not doing it down there uh, below this is where that indentation is, like this sort of thing, and that kind of looks weird on Roblox. I wouldn't go below here. I know there's a, a vent right here, but it can't hurt to put uh, stickers there. So this is where you should start pretty much, and we're going to just put stickers around, put a lot of stickers. And you can keep uh, copying and pasting making new layers so you can put them as close as possible to each other. Now that I think about it, I think they're a little bit too big. But, okay, well, let's see. Yeah, so instead of 25, let's we'll see how they look at 22. Uh, I'll do 20, actually. Yeah, 20 is way better. So, go ahead and put one there. Make sure not to touch the stripe. Because you can't put stickers on stripes in a uh, real football. And always keep like a pixel of, uh, separation so it doesn't look like the stickers are merging together. And you can add as many stickers as you want. I think I'll stop about right here. Okay. So that's pretty much all there is to it. I don't see anything else I need to add. Based on the back, there's just the... Uh, the number which you can't really add for uh, teams with a lot of people and the logos so we're gonna do control shift F to merge everything together file save as whoops save mine as Clemson helmet orange and that's all there is to it for the logo helmet Okay, so now we're moving on to actually putting the texture on the helmet. So 
as you can see here some helmets I have this place set up where I can easily put them on basically you just need to go to studio pull it up however you like through the uh, uh, through Roblox whatever so you pull it up and you go into your place have a helmet set down already which you can find in uh, my models I have multiple models for it and put it down and once you have it down like this there's a few parts to the helmet so let's look at this on the side there's Oregon green right I'm gonna go ahead and name it Clemson orange because that's what I'm about to put on it and so there's our helmet there's four parts there's the handle which is the shell this part there's the front plate which is this front uh, little bumper face mask pretty self-explanatory and the chin strap so what we're gonna do is go to handle texture ID and if your place is like, published it can be private or public it just has to be published you can do this directly so you can do add image choose file find your file here's mine create and there you go it's in the game already so as you can see I think it looks really really nice everything loaded in as I wanted it to the stickers are pretty solid so as you can tell I mean there's some other things you gotta fix we'll fix the front plate next I believe they have a white front plate yep white and their face mask is also white and chin strap is also white for Clemson. Now, if you have a team with a different color face mask, like purple or something Roblox doesn't have, basically, if your team has a color that isn't black or white, what you need to do is go into paint.net or whatever your um, uh, editing software is, select the color with the color picker, go to colors more or if you're on GIMP, Photoshop, I'm not sure how that works, but find the hex. Here's the hex. Now let's say the face mask was orange. I'm copying the orange hex, clicking the helmet to find it. Go to face mask, brick color, more colors, and the HTML is the hex. So you're just going to replace all of the uh, characters, not the pound sign or the hashtag and you'll have the exact color now the problem is in game it's just going to move to the closest color to it on their little palette they have here see as it says brick color really red color it's kind of I mean it's going to move to the brick color eventually but uh, it's good to know that it can look good as you're showing it off so we'll change that back to white and there's your helmet that's all you need to do for a logo helmet 